Okay, so this is question 14 on page 36. Okay, so they're saying 80% of the human body is water. Clear is 60 kilograms. How many kilograms is water? That's right, isn't it? That's the question. Yep. So what you're finding is you're finding 80% of her body weight. So that's the phrase you do in your head. And the moment you do that phrase, you should know that you know a lot of that from there. 80% of her body weight is water. So 80%, we know that a number with a percentage sign after it is good. 80 over 100. We know that this is equal to times. That's right. 60. What does that equal? Graham? Forty eight. Forty eight of her kilograms are water. Alright, you work that out by the question. Alright. So do the questions in your head and think to yourself, what are they asking me to do and try and do it in terms of that percentage of something else. Okay. Page 40. Yep. Okay. So it's asking you to reduce $30 by 20%. Yeah. So it's asking you to reduce $30 by 20%. So we're using our multiplier rule. Okay. So $30 divided by 0.8 will give us how many, what would that book cost us that originally cost us $30, what will it cost us now with 24, is it? Yep. Okay. And so then what they want to know is, what do you have to multiply 24 by to get $30? And it goes back to yesterday's conversation. Yeah. How do I get rid how do I get X on its own? I've got to get rid of 24. How do I get rid of 24? I can make it 1. I can make it 1 by saying, if I divide that by 24, 24 divided 24 will give you 1. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. Okay? So 24 divided by 24 gives us 1 times X equals What's 30 divided by 24? 1.25. What are you noticing? Yeah. Yeah, so you reduced it by what though? 20. To get it back, you had to increase it by 25%. That's interesting. That's for you to think about in your head. Why, when I reduce something by 20%, do I have to then increase it by 25%? Hey. Right. So if I reduce something by 20%, shouldn't I just multiply that by 20% to get it back up to that? Do you know what I'm saying? my voice, maybe it wasn't the whole time. Anyway, um, what you're trying to do is bad weather stopped a game of cricket for 35 minutes. Out of a scheduled three and a half hour match, what's three and a half hours? Yes. Okay, what percentage of the scheduled time, the scheduled time was lost? What percentage? So what you're trying to read from question 13 is to say percentage lost of time out of the whole amount of time. So the first question is to work both the units and then to work from there. Well, 35 divided by 20% times by 100 
that'll give you your percentage of my block. Now, if you got that percentage of that, and that's for now, so for example, if you got that percentage to be um, 70%, you'd have to say 70% of the time it's not locked because that's a small amount compared to that amount. So it has to be a lot less than 70%. So it's about also looking at the answer and saying, is that accurate? Have I got an accurate answer that's reasonable in that question? So it's thinking about the reasonableness of it. Yep. Well, I'll just read that question 13 a bit more carefully than that because it asks you what percentage of his original weight did he lose? You've got to do a quick calculation on what his original weight was. 